why do people insist on using the bottom left hand corner on the CNC machine for the XY0 position? Sometimes it's actually easier and better to use the center of the project as your XY0 position. In easel, you can do that really very easy. And I'm gonna show you how to do it today. The project that I'm gonna be cutting today is 10 inches by 10 inches, and the stencil in the center is gonna be located right in the center of this 10 inch by 10 inch square. If you have easel basic and you want to be able to set your XY0 position right in the center, well, the easiest way to do that is just highlight this and then have this set right in the center, move this over to zero and zero, and that will take care of it. You can place this anywhere on the CNC machine, move your machine over to this point right there at the zero, zero position, and you can carve it right there using the center. All you need to do when you're going through the checklist and it asks you to set the XY zero position, you need to have the machine located right here at this point, and you can do that. Don't worry about the fact that it's gonna be carbon off of here. Nope, not gonna do that because the machine thinks this is a zero position and this 10 inch by 10 inch square can be anywhere on the CNC machine that you want it. I've started up the X-Carve and the first step that I'm gonna do is home the machine. I'm using the glue and the tape method to be able to hold this foam down to the waste board. I'm also using a 16th of an inch bit to be able to cut out this little stencil. I have this project set up where it's at the bottom left hand corner with that zero zero right in the center. Now if you look at the preview it only shows that tiny little bit of space there but that's okay do not worry about that. Although I have the easel pro I'm setting this up as if I was using just the easel basic. I'm going to go through the checklist now and get this prepared to be able to cut out this stencil. The checklist calls for confirming of the material and the fact that the material is secure. And yes, I'm confirming the bit. Now I am using an upcut bit, but that's okay. It's still a 16th of an inch and I'm going to probe the uh, Z axis. So we'll run through that checklist quickly. Now you notice I have the CNC machine set for the center of this project. And I'm actually doing the probe right there at that location. Now that the probe is complete, the Z axis is set and I have the machine right at the center. Now that's actually five inches from five inches from that bottom left hand corner. And that's the location that's actually showing. An up close look, I set up the bit directly in the center of this 10 inch by 10 inch square. As I continue to the checklist, I click set XY zero. When I do that, it establishes that point as a zero zero position. Now I'll continue with the checklist and we'll carve out this stencil. I'm ready to hit carve and now the machine matches this. Remember it's zero zero right in the center and it matches over here on the machine at the zero zero location and it will carve just fine. You really don't have to worry about that blue area over there if you have this matched. And you can see how this will cut out the stencil perfectly fine and it's actually easier to have this located dead center for my purposes because this is going to be used as a stencil and the background of that 10 inch by 10 inch square is a useful por portion of the uh, project. On many different projects that I do where I need to have that center located in the actual center of the project, I'll use this method. Now again, this is easily done using the easel basic. But what happens if you have the Easel Pro? In that case, they actually have a setup for you that actually does the same thing in the computer to be able to set this up for you. And that's what I wanna show you next. So regardless, if you have the Easel Basic or the Easel Pro, you can do this exact same setup using the center as your XY0 position on your project. Now I'm gonna put this back to the five and the five, because if you have Easel Pro, you can come over here, you can come down into this screen. We have the work material set at 10 inches and by 10 inches. And all I need to do is come down to this bottom left-hand corner right here, click on the little arrow, 
and put this as center. And now you notice this is zero and this is zero. So again, when you set up the machine, you go through the checklist, you need to have the machine located right here at this point and it will carve using this as the XY zero position. Two very easy ways to do it, and it doesn't matter if you have the Easel Pro, being able to utilize this feature, or if you have the Easel Basic, just use the other feature that I showed you where this becomes the zero, zero, and it drops down here. So to show you again, we'll just click this at the bottom left, and I will set this as my zero, zero position, and you can accomplish the same exact thing. So how did this simple project look? This is the results. There's just a tiny little bit of cleanup that's gonna be necessary, but quite frankly, this is gonna work perfect as a stencil to be able to use the spray paint. And the outer portion, the 10 by 10, is still gonna be the shield to protect the overspray. Well, I know this video was a very short video today to be able to explain exactly how to be able to use a center point of your project for your XY zero position. Give it a try. I think that you'll like it. It works extremely well and it's not difficult to do regardless of whether you're using the Easel Basic or the Easel Pro. Thanks a lot for watching this video today and please, I hope that you'll give me the opportunity to be able to share more videos with you. So by subscribing and hitting that bell notification. So again, thank you very much for watching the video today. Bye-bye <laughs> everyone.